Tilt on the block and I cock me a check. Switch with a stick, turn the clock to a tech. Bully on my wrist, big rocks on my neck. When I ain't have a dime, still got my respect. Toppers on toppers, we got them on deck. When it's war time, we pop to your sack. Toppers on toppers, we got them on deck. When it's war time, we pop to your sack. Have you ever heard of Monster Cody? Yeah. You feel me? And the reason even comes to mind because we are in the Dago, you feel me, San Diego. You feel me? Not too far from Oceanside where they was where he found, passed away. If y'all don't know, you feel me, Monster Cody was a super duper gangster from A Train. You feel me? He wrote a book. You feel me? That motherfucker. I recommend that for everybody. You feel me? Whether you're a street nigga, whether you just a, a, a YouTube listener, nigga, if you just a YouTuber, a rapper, nigga, I'm talking about everybody, nigga. Even the, nah, it's too, it's kind of little, it's too deep for kids. You feel me? So if you're gonna read that shit to your kids, which I don't advise, then make sure you supervise. But you feel me? I did my little research on YouTube because it's a lot of videos out there on Monster Cody. Cause I, like I said. Like he a famous crip, like an H.A. gangster nigga, you feel me? And you feel me? I'm a street nigga, you feel me? And I can't lie, even though whether I'm in or out the streets, I'm, I'm going to always forever be infatuated with street shit, like street stories. Not necessarily I, I agree what's going on in the streets, but I, I, I appreciate the stories given by the street niggas, if you understand where I'm coming from. Right. But he did a lot for his neighborhood, but when he passed away, you feel me? He, matter of fact, he did a lot for himself. You feel me? That book sold, he made like $800,000 off that motherfucker. You feel me? But when he passed away, um, you know, some people said he was working on a new book, but when they found him, he was found, passed away in a homeless encampment. I want to know what you think about that because my thoughts was, I'm like, damn, like, he did, he did so much for his neighborhood, so much for his hood. Why, why would a person doing so much or putting a game before anything, why would a person like that die homeless? When you're doing good shit, and they don't want it to be out there, that's like Nip, bro. Rest in peace, Nip. All that good shit he was doing for the city, nigga, the devil started working. To have a meeting, the end game violence, the day after you die, nigga, like, the, better, the more you influence a motherfucker in a way that the white people can't control it, the quicker it is for you to die. Right, all right. these niggas dying on accident. All these weird ass deaths. And it's all influential niggas. They ain't killing no regular Joe Schmoes and shit. They killing the niggas who niggas look up to. Who, who niggas following this shit. Like, Nip changed the city, bro. For, for Bloods, for Crips, for Redskins. Nip was changing the city, bro. And right. for the city. So I know this. I know this nigga Monster Cody was doing shit for his people, changing shit. He said he made eight hundred thousand off a book. That's a lot of change in the community. Yeah, he Most did that. Definitely. He did that back in the day, though. You feel me? When he first dropped the book, you feel no, me? They bought it from him. That's like uh, Johnny Cochran. You think that nigga died the way he did? Right, right. So my my thoughts on it was. Why did he only make 800000 Like, that book still, nigga, I'll buy Taxes. that book to this day. Taxes. But I'm saying, though, that interview, oh, was he still getting royalties? Was he still eating off that shit? Most definitely. I mean, okay. a smart nigga would. Smart nigga would. But, all right, tell me this. Do you do you believe that a person who's receiving royalties of any kind of anything, I don't give a fuck, do you think that they would say fuck living in a mansion, fuck living in this apartment, fuck this single, fuck this bachelor, nigga, fuck moving in with my people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay out here and be homeless, nigga, in a tent. Hell no. He was fucked some way or they really killed that nigga and put him out there and made him look homeless. Yeah, that was my thoughts on it too. That was my thoughts on it too because it, it really didn't make sense because, I mean, the last interview I see with him was with Kev, Kev Mac videos. Shout out to Kev Mac videos. Feel me? I believe he's an OG from 60s. You feel me? But he be dropping that. A lot of jewels get dropped on this channel. So shout out to Kev Mac videos. I fuck with you. I'm subscribed and all that. Make sure y'all follow that nigga too. But he didn't look, he didn't look unhealthy. He looked healthy to me. You feel me? But I, I'm glad you brought up Nip in that situation because um, in one of his interviews, he, he brought it up that he didn't really know Nipsey like that. You feel me? His first thought when Nipsey died, he was like, 
he hoped the homies got him, you feel me? But then he had to rethink. That's how you know his mind was really so tied up in that gang shit. But then he started doing his research of what he did. He was like, oh, he really was a straight, a straight, a straight nigga, you feel me? Like, he, he, he respected him after he passed away, right. you feel me? But uh, the comparison I can make to Nipsey Hussle and him is, all right, Nipsey Hussle, he loved this game. Monster Cordy loved this game. You feel me? They probably both were street on that gangsta shit, killer shit, right? But I really believe that it's the power that you got because as an OG nigga, you did all that, you got a whole lot of say something. Nigga scared of you. You feel me? You can make these motherfuckers, hey, take your little ass to school, nigga. For me? Nigga, be, hey, nigga, you better, nigga, I'm gonna beat your ass next week if you ain't got a business idea. You feel me? You get a nigga in line to get his shit together, you feel me? And I, I believe. That, that they scared of that, you feel me? So that's my thoughts on Moving that works when I dodge in the rest. It's gonna be gone in an hour or less. Switch up my stash, I might change up my spot. I done seen niggas turn gangsta to cop. I bought my hair, but I made me a knot. First thing I bought is a chain and a watch. No pillow talking when they need stops. Made up a plot and they gave up his drop. Stick with a switch when I'm banging my Glock. AR 15 slanging the top. Can't be gang if you hang with the ops. Ask if a smoke get you fatally shot. Niggas die every day, don't be another couch. See no ghost guns, niggas straight from the factory. If I don't kill them, then the bullets gon' factory. Hit him with the drum. I'm like the energizer battery Stood on the block and I clock me a check Switch with a stick, turn the clock to a tech Rollie on my wrist, big box on my neck When I ain't have a dime, still got my respect Toppers on choppers, we got them on deck When it's war time, we pop to your sack Toppers on choppers, we got them on deck When it's war time, we pop to your sack